HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Phil, what do you think went wrong today? Um, obviously you conceded, uh, what was it, three goals. Um, you know, I think first half we started well, you know, having chances, creating chances, playing well. And obviously it's just been a problem all season where we get to the final third and then we struggle to you know, either hit the target or create something. Um, but I think we started the game very well, especially the first half until the first goal. I think this was too fair. It was a criminal goal to give away. Um, but we just have to stay positive with this. The way we played in the first half, I think it's you know, something to take out this game. Apart from the second half, we went totally wrong. But the first half started well, but obviously ending, losing 3-0 is never, never good. So, yeah. How much did that first goal kill the momentum that we started in the first half? You know, it's killed everything. Um, we were on top of the game, and then we conceded a goal like that. And then after that, they just they got on top, and then it's kind of hard to get out of that that situation. And you know, away from home. Um, but you know, we got to give credit for two fans as well. Who you know, we could hear them all all game. Um, so we just have to, you know, even though it's a tough tough loss, and we all were disappointed. We just have to try and stay positive, and then go into the next game and. You know, keep playing how we did in the first half, um, and then I'm sure we'll get we'll get the points and the goals. You mentioned the first goal. How disappointed as a team were you with both the first, well, the first two goals that you conceded? Yeah, you know, very disappointed um, with the way we're defending the whole season. I think to give away two goals like that is is uh, it's not good, and um, that's something we have to work on. I don't know if it's just one of those days or whether. To be fair, I think the who has it Ben Foster they haven't gone. I think some made some good saves as well um, in the first half. Which if he had scored one of them, it would have changed the game, but we didn't. So here we are. Yeah. You mentioned the, the second half didn't go to plan. What? Why do you think that was? I don't know. To be fair, um, I, we knew our game plan. I think we just second half. I didn't think we were aggressive enough, and I think a lot of times. Both through midfield and but every round of pits was just like they just you know ran straight for um, straight passes without it's like we it wasn't there um, which we have to make better where we have to be, be stronger or what um, I don't know but you know something we have to to the Fulham game you know make a lot better because otherwise it's gonna hurt us. When we were two 0 down, how hard was it then to get things moving and, and create more opportunities because obviously Watford's game plan seemed to change slightly they were shutting down spaces a lot quicker. You know, it's like in, the, in these situations, that's when we've got to show some character and got to be positive on the pits. And I remember in the first half, you know, me and Pritz were still like talking in the game, first half when we conceded 2 0. It's like there's something in this game because that's how it felt on the pits. Um, you know, we had chances, we had possession, but we just have to do something with it, which we didn't do. So how, how important is it now that we pick ourselves up and we get ready for that Fulham game? Of course. Uh, what is it, in 10 days? Um, we have to just work hard, keep doing what we're doing, especially in the first half. Second half is, we don't have to think about that. We all, we could see how that went. Um, but the first half, positives, apart from conceding the two goals, and we just got to work hard this weekend and get right against Fulham and hopefully score some goals at home. Once again, the character of the group has to really shine through, doesn't it? That everyone has to stick together, the fans, the players, the, the supporters, and everyone kind of keeps believing. Yeah, that's what we have to do. The whole the whole club we have to believe because it's now in these in these times it it shows what kind of characters you have and we have to stick together. We have to be positive. So have the fans, even though it's probably tough, but we have to do it. Um, and I'm sure you know suddenly the goals will come and then we can get a hopefully our first win against Fulham next next week and then we take it from there. Just finally, a message to the supporters. Obviously, it was a sold out away end here at Watford and they were vocal throughout. Yeah, of course, we, like I said, we could hear them on the pits um, the whole game. Um, obviously, you can feel they're, you know, they're disappointed as well towards the end, but that's, you know, they love the club, they love the football. Of course, we, they're disappointed like, like us, but we have to just turn it around and they have to be positive with us and you know, keep being that 12 men they have been so far and always have been. So we have to just stay positive, the whole club, and I'm sure the points will come.